Shiba Inu, something is happening. OMG, the Fed. Hello, beautiful people. Shalom, money makers. So the crypto market has stabilized a little bit and Shiba Inu is actually doing relatively well today. <laughs> I'll show you that in just a second. Relatively well, right? Uh, to the rest of the top uh, 15 of the market cap of the crypto market, right? There was a little uh, shakiness in the morning. Uh, we had the Fed coming out and saying a few things that shook the market for a second, but then the market was like, I don't know, right? We're very, very close to the halving, which is in uh, you know less than uh, two, three days here. For me, it's already the 17th. That's why I got a, <laughs> it was like, wait a second, the 20th is three days, but for most people today is the 16th. So. <laughs> It's the, it's the four days, th three to four days. Let's let's call it that. Right? <laughs> Time difference always gets me out of whack, right? Uh, and and you know the crypto market is like in this hurry up and wait kind of state. You know, there's the whole geopolitical situation around the world. We had the weird situation in Dubai today, where a lot of crypto investors got stuck in their Lamborghinis <laughs> in a river of water. If you if you missed that, I talked about it in a video earlier today. If you didn't see it on the news or all over Twitter. Um, and so it's kind of been, I wouldn't call it slow, but, you know, relative to the past few days, we haven't seen a lot of action, right? Shiba Inu was up and then pulled back a little bit. I'll show you in just a second. Um, all I ask from you, right? um, I'm a simple guy. All I ask is a beautiful smile. Smishity smash that like button. Listen, I don't want to remind this all the time, but... I have seen a straight correlation. When the price of Shiba Inu goes up, the videos get a lot of likes. So there must be some kind of connection there. So we got we got to get the likes. <laughs> I think we should uh, try to get 1,000 likes on this video. I don't think that's hard for you. Usually Shiba Inu videos get about 10,000 views, right? Give or take. A uh, 10% ratio is not that hard right so a thousand i think we can do it we haven't hit a, a thousand in a in a minute i think so i think it's easy for, i'm gonna give you a second got my workout in for the day <laughs> and now let's do the shiba shake <laughs> So currently the price of Shiba Inu is at 0 0.402250, up 2.65% on the day. You can see if we go to the crypto bubbles here, you can see that if we look right at the top um, 12, 15 here, right? Shiba Inu is up 3.5% in the last 24 hours. And if we look here, right, minus 3.5, flat, flat minus one and a half flat ton coin down minus eight dogecoin down 2.6 flat flat minus one and a half minus 2.7 uh flat flat right so shiba inu has actually done the best here and in doing so it uh jumped avalanche so shiba inu uh jumped back to the 11 spot here um which you know it's basically the ninth spot because if you take tether out and you take usdc out right so if actual token not stable coin it's actually ninth so top 10 crypto again here for shiba inu um the next one closest is cardano but for that either cardano needs to tank or shiba inu needs to you know at least go up uh 20 percent somewhere around that range without cardano moving right because uh 10 would be 1.3 billion so we need about like 3 billion so 25 percent maybe 25 to 30 percent and then we would be able to jump uh, another one up which you know is not out of the realm of possibility right uh how much is that? and that would bring us back to like the 3000 level i mean that's not uh, crazy right we were there just a, a few days ago if we take a look at the stochastic full on the daily chart shiba inu is pulled back all the way down here to the bottom of the stochastic full now again that doesn't mean that every time it hits the bottom we're going to see a massive run up but you know it kind of stopped short here. It didn't, it didn't reach the top uh, last time, right? You can see this was like a, a kind of dud, right? Although, you know, it did make a nice movement, right? It did go up 38% in eight days. It was a movement. It just, you know, wasn't back to the local high that we saw here for Shiba Inu. And I show this, you know, a lot of these 
tokens. I don't remember if it was this morning or the video that I did earlier today. I think it was the one that I did er not in the morning, but in the afternoon um, when we talked about Dubai, right? That I showed that a lot of these tokens are actually back to where they were uh, in the beginning of March. And Shiba Inu is, is still higher than it was in the beginning of March because the beginning of March, it was, uh, sorry, the end of February was around here, right? Not the beginning of March, the end of February. It was around 1,000. So it's still up over 100% since that, you know, range, right? If we take from here to here, Shiba Inu is up 129% in the last 50 days. So yes, it's down, but if you zoom out, it's up, right? Uh, you know, they always say, when in doubt, zoom out, <laughs> right? Um, so that's kind of, you know, the situation. Um, and, you know, there's going to be the people that are saying, well, Bitcoin is uh, down. And if you look at all the Bitcoin, you know, products and and uh, assets on the stock market that have something to do with Bitcoin, you know, they're down like 20, 30 percent. So that's like a bear market. But if you zoom out and you look how much they're up this year or a year to a year to not year to date, but last 52 weeks, they're up a lot, right? So again, it's all about, you know, wh when you're looking at it and what's happening, right? Now, the market kind of took a shock here, you know, of course, there's the Israeli-Iran thing, um, you know, and it took a little bit of a, a dive here this morning, it was a little bit higher, right? That's not, that wasn't this morning. Um, sometimes when you go to the one minute, into the five minute here, here we go. This was the this morning, right? Uh, this is 4.30 my time, so that's 9.30 uh, Eastern time. And you can see uh, once the market opened up, it pulled back. Um, this was also happening. It was like very spiky. And, and I mentioned this earlier today that when we see movement like this, because it's spiky, it goes up and down and up and down, right? Uh, that's usually algos that are just trading inside a specific zone and they'll trade up and trade down and trade up and trade down according to some indicator that might hit the, the top of whatever stochastic flow, whatever indicator it's using. And then once it hits the top, then it sells off. And then it hits the bottom, it starts buying. And it's, so when there's not a lot of volume, because of, I think what happened, either two things, what happened in Dubai, so there was a lot less traders, right? Or um, just people are a little bit concerned about the geopolitical situation. The tax uh, excuse that was used uh, yesterday is over, right? So the taxes are over, right? <laughs> um, so it's, it'd be interesting to see, you know, could be that the people that sold for to pay the taxes now don't have money to buy back. So, you know, it's <laughs> um, it's it's an interesting situation uh, to see. Now, the, what did the Fed say? Well, basically, people are talking about this because the Fed says that recent data shows lack of further progress on inflation. Inflation has introduced new uncertainty on whether the Fed can cut rates later this year. So there might be no interest rates cuts. Fed can maintain higher rates for as long as needed. Recent data has not given greater confidence on inflation. Restricted Fed policy needs more time to work and it will likely take longer to regain confidence on inflation. What happened to the Fed pivot? You remember a while back, first of first and foremost, they said that the inflation was transitory. That was the first mistake that they made. Then they had like a whole party when inflation was going down. They were like, hey, we beat inflation, yay. Right? And now we're seeing that doesn't, doesn't look like it. And of course, you could say, you know, geopolitical things, oil's going up, yada, 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 right? <laughs> I've been watching Seinfeld recently. Uh, yada, 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 right? Um, it's it's a very complex situation. I'm not, you know, an economic expert or a economic expert on inflation uh, to tell you why the reasons that it's not really working the way that it was hoping, why this is a weird situation where usually in a recession you have high, um, well, not every time, but sometimes you'll have high inflation and you also have high unemployment, which is not happening now. We are seeing a strong labor market. So it's a very weird, weird, weird situation. And that's why the markets sometimes get into this kind of funk, um, but it will be interesting. Now, people reminded me in the comment section um, that this is kind of normal for pre-having uh, action. But again, this cycle is different than 2020 because 2020, remember, we were like in the, the, the juice of the beginning of the pandemic where everything was crazy. Uh, and in 2017, the market was a lot different. You know, that's already uh, eight years ago. Uh, the, the whole ecosystem was totally different. So to say, well, this happens every time. Yes, it kind of happens every time. So, you know, I'm not stressing out about it, but it's just a very interesting and peculiar situation that we are seeing. And 
the Fed, right, according to the probabilities now, is going to have to make a decision in two weeks. They're now saying 96.9% that they keep interest rates uh, where they are, right? Uh, there's also a small probability, a 3%, that they actually decide that where we are is not enough and raise more. Um, and if we take June, June is saying 80%, nothing happens. So again, and a 20% of a reduction. Be interesting to see after the decision and what the Fed has to say, uh, how this June uh, probability will shift uh, going forward, right? Um, very, very interesting to, to see uh, where we go from here. Of course, this affects everybody in the United States, everybody that has a loan, everybody that has anything interest. Like, I think most Americans have a mortgage and a car payment and a student loan and credit card debt and uh, other debt, right? <laughs> um, so... This is very, very important for all Americans, right? And in general around the world, because if, you know, things get better in the U.S., it will probably affect the, the stock market and the crypto market. So, you know, we, we want things to be easier, right? But the Fed just printed so much money that now we're in this terrible situation. It is what it is. We'll see how we can get out of this uh, stronger. What doesn't kill you makes you... I, I started too high. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. <laughs> Kelly Clarkson, she sings too high for me, right? <laughs> I didn't start low enough. Uh, so uh, sorry for that bad singing. I was off. The kids are sleeping, so I, I had to. I couldn't use my, uh, you know, my belting voice. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.